الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم Welcome to our fourth class of Al-Arabiya to Bain Yadayk Alhamdulillah today we will be studying some sarf uh, Just to clarify in our previous lesson I said this is our grammar lesson and I might make this mistake again There's a difference between grammar and sarf Grammar focuses on what is the vowel on the last letter. So the last letter. So is there a fatta, damma, and kasra? Is there a fatta, damma, or kasra? And why? As for sarf, sarf is more morphology. So how do the words change and why? That's the difference, and I do not really want to go into depth into this topic, but, but I just thought I'd clarify you, clarify for you so you know. If you see a table like this and the verbs are changing, this is sarf, and this is not grammar. As for the Jumlatun Ismiya wal Fi'liya, that was Nahu, uh, which is grammar. And if you hear me in the future saying this is our grammar lesson and I'm going through a table like this, then know that this is Sarf and it's not a grammar. But due to the rush and due to the limited time, I may fall into uh, this error. So please uh, pardon me if I do, inshallah. Tayyib. Al Fi'lul Madi ma'al Dama'ir. Al Fi'lul Madi ma'al Dama'ir which is the past tense verbs with the pronouns. So now we are going to learn how to manipulate the past tense verbs. So instead of being restricted to the past tense verbs that we get in the book, for example, kataba, he wrote, I want you to know how to adapt this verb to I wrote, they wrote, we wrote, and so on and so forth. In our last lesson, in uh, lesson two, sorry, we went through these pronouns. So by now you should have memorized the pronouns and know their meaning. Ana, nahnu, anta, anti, antuma, antum, antunna, huwa, hiya, huma, hum, hunna. And if you do not know the meaning, then you should not be on this class. You should go back to a dars thani and you should not be watching this class until you have memorized a dars thani So we are not going to translate them again. Tayyib, ana plus kataba. Kataba is the past tense verb he wrote. So if you want to say I wrote is katabtu. Nahnu plus kataba, katabna, we wrote. Anta plus kataba, katabta, you wrote, masculine, singular. Anti plus kataba, katabti, you wrote, singular, feminine. Antuma plus kataba, katabtuma, you two wrote, whether masculine or feminine. Katabtum, you lot wrote, referring to a group of guys. So you guys wrote a group of males. And as we mentioned previously, if there is a group of females and one guy or one male amongst them, then we still use the antum form. So, katabtum, you lot wrote, masculine. Antunna plus kataba, katabtunna, you lot wrote for a group of females. He, huwa kataba, huwa kataba, so that is he wrote, hiya katabet, she wrote, huma kataba, for two guys or one guy and a girl. Kataba, so them two wrote. Katabata, them two wrote for two females. So kataba, them two wrote, is either for two guys or one guy and one girl. Katabata, for two females. Them two wrote. Hum katabu, they wrote for a group of males. Hunna, uh, them not wrote. Fem feminine, this one is feminine for a group of females. And again, this can be used with, this table can be used for different verbs. So it's not just restricted to kataba. The whole purpose of learning this table is so you can adapt the verbs. So for example, the verb nadara. Ana nadartu. Anta nadarta. Anti nadarti. Antuma nadartuma. Antum nadartun. Nadartum. Antunna nadartunna. Huwa nadara. Hiya nadarat. Huma nadara. Nadarata. Nadarata. Hum. نَذَرُوا هُنَّ نَذَرْنَا Inshallah, we're going to end here. These tables, I cannot tell you how important it is for you to memorize these tables and know these tables like you know your name. Inshallah, they are very important and you will come to see the importance the more you learn, Inshallah. جزاكم الله خيرا وبارك الله فيكم هذا والله أعلم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته